Hello and welcome to the July 2019 episode of Core Safety TV, brought to you directly from the National Mining Association. This month, we're going to start with some new rock-solid insights about leadership as they relate to mining safety. Core Safety emphasizes that to be really successful with the program, leaders have to first embrace the safety concepts themselves and then actively encourage managers, miners, and the entire workforce to do the same. So let's hear more about this from some folks who are already using Core Safety. We'll start with Dino Nobel, a global manufacturer of explosives that was the first non-mining company to receive independent certification for completing Core Safety's 20 modules. We're very fortunate enough to be at a place on our safety journey that we don't have to convince our leaders that safety is important. So our leaders bought into this straight away and saw the opportunities in it to identify improvement opportunities and generally learn and improve as a result of it. The core safety framework, it really does emphasize leadership as we do and see it as the thing that sets the tone and sets the standard for your safety performance without leadership commitment and leadership engagement. The rest is extremely difficult, if not impossible. The fact that it did stress the importance of leadership at all levels and the importance of building a strong safety culture, those were two of the things that were particularly appealing to us. I do believe that leadership is fundamental. I mean, leadership is going to define and shape culture. And really, culture is the collective beliefs of a group. So what people believe is going to greatly influence their behavior and what they do. And actions really determine you know, whether we have safe, healthy, productive operations or not. So it's very hard for me to say you, know, you can not have great leadership and, and still expect great performance. I mean, leadership is really what the glue that holds the pieces together, if you will. And also, I think one thing that leaders need to be able to do throughout all of this is, is to look at what people do and not just the results they get and that's particularly the case with safety leaders and then fundamentally we've got to have that care we're going to have that care for our people so leaders play a major role in getting core safety implemented throughout any operation but let's also agree that it's not only up to the leaders it's critical for every one of us to pay close attention to safety while we're working in the mining industry no matter what job we happen to have now it's time to take a look at another aspect of safety, documentation and information management. You may wonder what documents have to do with staying safe on the job, and that's why we're going to take a look right now at this video nugget about Core Safety's module number 18. Core Safety's module number 18 focuses on documentation and information management. The implementation of information management will help mining organizations achieve business goals and adhere to demanding compliance requirements. Deep insights into priority areas for the mining industry will ensure that information management initiatives are not implemented as mere technology projects, but drive business benefits for the organization. Your company should establish and maintain appropriate safety and health management records as designated by senior management that include, among others, safety and health policy, objectives, responsibilities, audit investigations, and management reviews. The type and the volume of records should reflect the size, complexity, and risks of your mining company. Core Safety and other safety and health management systems are designed to help you identify those documents that require retention and maintenance. Core Safety's module number 18 will show you how to collect appropriate safety and health data for leading and lagging performance metrics and establish and maintain appropriate safety and health management records. Finally today, let's take a look at our four four tips. These all pertain to documentation and information management. Tip number one, develop a documentation retention process. Tip number two, be sure that all records are legible, identifiable, and protected. 
Tip number three, keep all documents that are required by regulations, but also keep those that your company decides to retain as part of its own policy. And tip number four, use documents to determine trends. You should try to observe events and patterns in inspection records, audits, behavior observations, etc. And so that's all for July. Remember to be safe this month and every month as you work at your mining operations, no matter what your job is, and encourage your coworkers to do the same. For more useful mining safety information, be sure to follow us on social media. You'll find us on Twitter and on Facebook. For Core Safety and the National Mining Association, I'm Nelson Duffel. I'll see you here again next month. Until then, be safe out there, and thanks for watching. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.